Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Virgo. Hope you're all well this week. See what's happening with the overall energy surrounding you in your love life. Oh, so there we go. Planning and action. Virgo. Overall energy surrounding Virgo. There we go. All right. Wow. Okay. This is looking pretty good. So it looks like there is somebody here planning to take some kind of action. It has to do with intentions, to do with opening up, revealing those intentions. Okay. Someone may have hidden motivations, but this is an energy of someone who keeps things close to their chest. All right. Uh, there's something that needs to be revealed here to do with intentions. And then we have true love. So this is the situation, I feel. You can see the energy. It's rather stuck. And it's an energy of reaching out. And, you know, you can see that there is this flower. Uh, you see this woman reaching out to it. And it's always just out of reach. Okay. So there is definitely an energy of something being out of reach because of someone's hidden motives or their intentions that need to be revealed. Right, Virgo. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Virgo viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Virgo. Do they need to know? What does Virgo need to know about their love life? Clear messages, please, for Virgo. 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 Clear messages for Virgo regarding their love life. This one wants to come out. Five of Cups, Virgo. And then we have the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess. So we have some Pisces energy here. Pretty strong by the looks of this, all this water here. Someone maybe has some remorse and regret for not communicating something, okay? For not reaching out, taking that action. Okay, someone here has obviously kept something to themselves, keeping some kind of secret. It has to do with emotions, feelings, something to do with an offer. So I feel as though someone has some regrets for not doing this. They may be planning to take action. Virgo. Yeah, so there is definitely... Yeah, someone may be waiting for this, waiting for this... Uh, something to do with the hidden motivation, somebody to open up to express their intention, okay? I feel like you got a, an energy. Now, this could be yourself. This could be the other person. If this is you moving in this direction, you can flip the energy. There's someone here waiting. They're holding on to this wand, but they're looking out there. Someone may be looking elsewhere or sort of waiting for some kind of message, some kind of news. All right, Virgo. You or them. There we go. Yeah, so there is definitely, I see some Sagittarius energy. So your person could be a Sagittarius. If you are the one that has some regrets or you feel like it's hopeless if you reach out, there's something to do with a secret. Uh, someone's definitely, you know, this is someone seeking. This is the seeker, someone who goes within. Uh, this is an energy of someone who ha already has everything they need to know, okay? And that's what I'm feeling here. Someone already knows what they need to to, to know, all right, about another person. But there's definitely something being held back, secrets, keeping things to uh, themselves. Yeah, so we ha definitely have uh, a situation here where someone's hoping to have, it's right in the center, so there is uh, this sense of moving forward towards success. Someone may be reaching out, okay, wanting to put more attention into something to do with a house, a home, a family, a commitment, a foundation. Okay, moving towards something successful. So I feel there's someone here waiting, uh, holding on, waiting for the one. But to me, this is an energy of someone who doesn't sit around and wait. And the reason why I feel that way is because they're holding on to the wand. That's the one, that one passionate person. And yeah, and looking elsewhere, okay? So someone may be setting themselves free, moving towards another relationship. So someone feels some remorse and regret. They feel like the other person is moving towards something else, setting themselves free, not waiting. Because I don't see waiting here. I see somebody uh, ending something painfully. So there's something that's ended here. Uh, it's a painful ending. It's over, okay? 
it's completely done. The situation may seem like it's a little bit out of reach because someone's moving on, moving towards another commitment or relationship. Yeah, it could be, you know, sometimes it's travel, it's movement, it's it's an adventure. Someone may be waiting for the next adventure, okay? It could lead, you know, there could be success here. Like there's someone who's waiting for some commitment, some sort of... A, uh, energy with the foundation and this is at the foundation and I feel there is a person making some kind of plans to take action now it could be someone having regrets for not communicating and planning to come in and take that action making those uh, first steps and then again it's the other person I feel look how the energy changes from water to fire okay interesting enough so it's very action oriented so I feel like someone here is uh, definitely thinking about moving on, moving towards something more successful. There's a need for some uh, kind of victory. And someone here feels as though they possibly, you know, it's kind of a hopeless situation that, that it's just out of reach now because the other person is no longer waiting. They may be moving towards another commitment. It could be changing location as well. There we go. We have two more. Yeah. So there is definitely uh, some indecision. Somebody can't see a way forward here. Uh, it has to do, you know, someone's definitely going out to meet other people. There's some sort of ending. Um, this person feels maybe that you've already met somebody. Okay. And that there's no way forward. So there's this indecision about even reaching out. But the still the plans are there you know it's a process of taking this action somebody was possibly planning to take action and then kind of didn't there because of something to do with secrets something to do with uh this pisces energy the seer seeing within interesting enough virgo tell me about this five of cups energy it's a little regret remorse sadness it's a cup half full uh, or a cup half empty instead of a cup half full. And that's the way I usually see uh, this energy, is someone who's in that energy. And it doesn't have to last. It's a five. So I feel there's this Knight of Cups coming in to communicate, to do with this secret. So you're going to have to trust your intuition here. Someone may be trusting their intuition and just feeling like it's too late. The other person has moved on. Okay. They've met somebody else. It's over. There's just no way forward. It's just the situation is now out of reach. Five of cups for Virgo. Let's get some clarity here. I got to focus. Yeah. So there's definitely someone here maybe regrets something here. There may have been some kind of argument. There may now be just competition as well. Someone maybe regrets not taking that action, not moving forward, not sharing that cup, not reaching out. Yeah, someone took too long making plans possibly. Yeah, I see. There you are. Yeah, looking into the future. Maybe you're making plans, okay, but it could be the other person uh, as well. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong Sagittarius energy here as well as Pisces. Tell me about this High Priestess. Yeah, so we have definitely, yeah, so I feel as though what we have is someone is definitely focused on the future, focused on their money, being very grounded, very practical, and looking into the future. Uh, there's something here to do with secrets. Someone's trusting their intuition here, and they're pulling back, and they're looking at things, seeing things different, okay? But this is someone who's looking for the one. They're looking for that perfect person, that perfect fit, Okay, see, holding on to that wand and looking out there, waiting for that person, looking for the one. So I feel someone's ready to set off an adventure. They may be making plans. Okay, could be someone could just be relocating, but I see an energy of someone who is thinking about commitment and about a foundation here. And there's something about this foundation, about the hidden motives. So tell me about the three of wands. Someone may be keeping things secret here. Uh, about their intentions, their plans moving forward. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yeah, so there's definitely, yeah, someone's not waiting anymore. Uh, something is now over. Uh, I feel someone is tired of waiting. And there is this transition period where there's plans being made to move forward, to go off in another direction towards something where there's more success. There could be competition here as well. 
because someone didn't take action, the other person is now getting more attention. There may be, uh, because there, I see somebody here who's quite successful, focused on their finances and looking into the future, looking for the one. Someone's definitely ready to stop just focusing on the finances and it's now time for action. It's time to move, to look for the one. So it's about tempering emotions finding that inner balance and trusting that intuition yes interesting enough tell me about the six of wands it looks like it's you um you know maybe there's someone here who didn't take action and now you're looking into the future you're turning back your back on something maybe there was some kind of argument disagreement some kind of obstacles maybe there was too many obstacles being created here by someone because of this waiting somebody was sort of like i feel just not taking the action so the, the waiting game is now over. Someone is putting an end to this waiting. And it's time for, you know, some fun. It's time for some uh, excitement. It's time for a new adventure to move towards success where there can be success and a commitment. So, wow. Six of Wands. Yeah, so there is definitely a crossroads. There's a choice. And someone's about to make a choice. Looking right at this, you know, to end this, to move towards another relationship, a commitment. It could be changing location. Someone's at a bit of a crossroads here. It's also about the approach. Uh, I feel this person is sort of... And this could be yourself making this decision, getting tired of just waiting uh, for somebody to come in to communicate. But, you know, with the death card, it's sort of like it's out of reach. The situation is just out of reach now. And this crossroads is that choice, that path to take. There may be a choice between two people. Someone may, you know, there's that energy of holding on to that one wand, looking for that one, that special person and looking out there. Uh, waiting around certainly isn't going to do it. Tell me about the Four of Wands, if this is your energy. Very strong Sag. I see some Scorpio energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Wands. Why is this here for Virgo? Yeah, so I see some kind of communication. Someone's maybe talking to somebody about a house, a home, a relationship, about commitment. I feel there's this movement. Somebody's taken all that passion and energy, maybe communicating with another person. But there is, you've got to watch that intentions, you know. There's some kind of new beginning, but there may be some kind of hidden motives. So I would, you know, a little bit of caution there. Someone's keeping things to them, chat keeping things to themselves, holding things towards their chest, or not revealing their intentions. So it could be because they're secrets. It's just a mystery as well. So, yeah, I feel as though you're looking into the future at this temperance energy, pulling back, seeing things different, okay? Tempering your emotions, being practical, being very grounded. Before you take this action to move away, it, it almost looks like you're tired of waiting. And if it's not you, it's the other person, okay? And I, I just, I, the death card here just says no more waiting. It's enough. It's time to make a choice, time to choose a path. It's one way or the other because someone's taken their passion and energy elsewhere. Uh, the motivation may not be, you know, the hidden motives may not be revealed at this point. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. There we go. Yeah, so I feel as though there's definitely been some kind of, something has come to an end. And I feel there's some kind of remorse and regret due to lack of uh, somebody moving forward, taking that action that's necessary to get this going, okay? Because temperance is here. It's all about being patient. Somebody is tired of being patient, tired of waiting, and they're seeing things differently now. Okay, so it looks like it's yourself, but it could be someone else. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, there's definitely an ending. There's somebody else here uh, coming in to offer that cup, so this could be a date. This could be somebody reaching out. You may have met this person before. Okay, there's something to do with community. Could be online dating. Uh, could be uh, social media. Could be out in your community. It could be amongst family and friends. It could be an event. So, but someone's having a hard, someone wants to offer up this cup of love. Uh, there's definitely someone here who's emotionally available, but the situation seems out of reach. Someone can't see a way forward. There's some indecision here to do with maybe some fears. Someone's guarding their heart. And we have this, yeah, this is coming in right, making things right. It's coming in in a balanced manner. So, yeah, I feel like someone here is definitely thinking about... Someone's not waiting. They're getting ready to accept this offer. 
Uh, I see some Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be a Pisces, someone here may be waiting. You may be waiting for a Pisces to come in and make an offer and you're losing patience, but it could be the other person waiting for you. Okay, so you'll have to, you know who you are in this story. Yeah, I see some kind of communication. Somebody definitely wanting to take action. It could be a date, a little bit of romance, but you see this indecision. Someone has one foot in the door and out there. You know, there's love here. There's some kind of emotion Someone's being a little bit cautious because something ended very painfully or they may feel like it's... I feel like someone feels it's too late uh, to move forward because of this indecision. They can't see a way forward. So it could be a choice between two. Maybe you have a choice between two people or the person that you're interested in maybe has a choice. Tell me about this two of wands. Why is this here? I see a lot of communication up here, but it's going... There's something about motivation, something about intention. Somebody's intentions need to be revealed, okay? And that's, someone may be waiting, you know, you may be waiting for someone to reveal their intentions, what they want, where it's going. Is there going to be some kind of a commitment? I see a lot of talk back and forth, possibly reading between the lines. Someone's just trusting their intuition that it's... Uh, it's just the whole situation's out of reach. So we have some kind of burden, some kind of responsibility. Yeah, someone feels a bit burdened. They can't seem to make a decision. You know, they got one foot in the door and one foot out and just can't see a way forward. So I don't know what's happened. There's been some kind of argument. There's obstacles. Someone has some remorse and regret. But it really feels like because of a lack of action. Okay, somebody was maybe planning something. Uh, but it's almost like someone didn't take action and now you're planning something because you're tired of being patient. You're kind of looking at things different. Like it may just be out of reach. It may be one of those situations where it's time to just make a decision and move on. Tell me about this five, five of wands. There may be competition. Someone maybe regrets taking action and now there's competition as well. I can see that energy for some of you. Tell me about the five of wands. Yeah, so there's definitely some kind of competition. Yeah, I feel like someone's tired of waiting. They're going out to meet new people. There may have been some gossip or something here as well that created some kind of argument, something to do with an event. There was something here. Someone's just not, I, I feel like you're just looking. You're turning your back on something, uh, making plans here. Yeah, but kind of holding back. There's this energy of being protective. So there is a bit of a stuck energy. Someone sort of looking at all the details, kind of holding back, uh, trying to make a decision. It's sort of like, should I wait or should I move forward? Should I let go of this situation and find that balance, right? There's something here to do with chemistry as well. I always see temperance as chemistry, but it's an energy of pulling back. There's something that's just a little bit off. Okay, someone may now feel like they're holding on to something uh, that they really need to let go of, okay? Because of this high priestess, there's secrets, mystery, confusion. It's all about intuition, seeing within. Uh, maybe there's just a lack of balance here between two people. Tell me about temperance. There we go. Yeah, so there's that four of wands. Yeah, someone's definitely... <sighs> Tired of waiting, okay? So someone's trying to temper themselves. They're trying to be patient. Uh, this is someone who definitely, uh, I think, is ready to take action. It looks like you're ready to move. You're making some kind of plans to maybe relocate, to move, or to just move towards somebody where you can have success. Somebody you can have a little bit more fun. I see success. I see movement. Someone's definitely getting more attention or maybe heading off in another direction. I see that four of wands. It has to do with uh, a solid foundation, a commitment. Someone may be waiting for an offer, but holding back, being very patient, looking at all the details. So it's, you know, it's a good energy, especially if this is the person, um, you know, when you're the person in the energy where you, you didn't take action and you're regretting and this person's now met someone else, there's now competition. Okay. Yeah, so... They are sitting there. They are looking at the details. They're holding back, feeling a little bit in protective mode. Not so sure they want to let go because of this crossroads. Do I let go? Do I stop waiting? Or do I move forward towards someone else? And it's sort of an energy if you don't really know where it's going to go. Okay. But we have this 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Justice, Libra energy here. So there is something about doing things right. Somebody's thinking of taking action and doing things right. It's about being balanced, again, with this temperance. Balancing head over heart, making the right decision, doing things right. It's all about justice. Yeah, but someone's not sure here. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, so someone's not so sure if they trust to this situation. There may be some trust issues. Uh, someone's definitely got one foot in the door and one foot out. So now you may have several people around you. You may be making a choice to stop waiting for a message, a communication. You're looking elsewhere. You're taking your energy, your passion somewhere else. It definitely looks like it's you, but like I said, it could be someone else. But there's someone here that's trustworthy and someone that's not. So I feel as though we've got a situation here where you're kind of, you've got someone who's got one foot in the door and out and you're not trusting them. You may feel there's some mind games, manipulation. There's definitely something to do with burdens, uh, it's to do with responsibility. Uh, yes, very interesting energy. I, I feel like there's an energy of two people, but I feel it's almost like I don't see two other people. What I actually see is somebody thinking about that, going off to get attention elsewhere, moving towards something successful, setting themselves free from this waiting. It's like it's enough. Just putting it to an end, allowing things to transform. So I feel like you're, you're waiting for something to transform. You're kind of holding back. You're sort of protecting yourself Okay, you're tempering your emotions, trying to just sort of chill on this situation. Uh, but it's getting to the point, I can see, where there is things are starting to kind of transform because of some sort of ending. Wow. Planning and action for Virgo. There we go, yeah. So there's definitely someone planning to take action. And this is about a passionate new beginning. This is the one. Someone's planning to go out and find the one. Uh, they're keeping it to themselves, kind of sticking to themselves right now while they plan and think about this. There's this action, this movement, this success. Someone may be getting attention from a lot of people. They may have decided to uh, stop waiting. I feel like it's you. Yeah, stopping waiting, maybe taking that energy elsewhere. I see a lot of communication, but there's some kind of hidden motives. Uh, there's a lack of trust here uh, to do with this Knight of Cups, somebody who kind of one foot in the door and out, and there's that need to feel, you know, protective. Like, do you sit and wait? You know, kind of the more you wait, the more you feel like you need to protect yourself. Tell me about the hidden motives for Virgo. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah. So there is someone here. There may be a choice. Someone may have other people. They're not so sure of the other person's intentions, uh, vice versa. Yeah, there's a, definitely a few trust issues, but look at this energy. Yeah, we have this chariot. And we have someone here who's using all the power they have to take control. Someone's got that push-pull. So I feel like there's an energy of, of hidden motives to do with some kind of new beginning, making this choice. And it feels like it could be a little, it feels risky, but there's a need to um, take control, controlling the emotions, okay? I see some Cancer energy. I see a Gemini energy. Uh, you may feel like somebody, one person here has hidden motives. You're not so sure, and this is why that protective mode. So there's a cycle that's ending. Yeah, someone lost control of a situation because someone's taking off in another direction, ending a cycle. Things didn't go in their favor, so the only way to have... Uh, commitment to have love is to move on, to put an end to this waiting. Yeah, talking to other people. Someone's talking to other people. Uh, some It could be that somebody else reaching out to them. Someone's definitely taking action and it has to do with uh, some kind of an event getting together. You know, it could be just doing something out in the community, but there's, it's the lack of that's causing this shift. So I feel here, yeah, we have someone here who probably wants to communicate, but you can see this page of cups. It's somebody who's not always the most sincere. So yeah, there's definitely, if you got two people, there's one person you may not be trusting and you're trying to use the power you have to control the situation, but things are kind of, it's all about being protective, not letting things get out of control, not so sure about ending a cycle or sure if things will go in their favor. We have someone here who could be telling a story. Okay, they may have hidden motives. They don't have to be negative. If you look at this card, it actually, you know, it has some someone who keeps things close to their chest. This is someone who keeps things close to their chest. They may have very positive intentions, okay? 
So whether it be you uh, or the other person, but I do see someone here. There could be some kind of an apology or someone reaching out, but I would be cautious of the story. Uh, definitely some very strong Pisces energy here. Someone's not, they're just not coming across as very sincere. And that may be uh, created this situation of this lack of trust, like somebody is not revealing their intentions. So there's this uh, secrets, mystery, there's someone who's keeping things to themselves, they're not expressing themselves fully. I, if you've got a choice between two, I, I feel if you're in that energy, you're, you're contemplating ending a cycle, taking using all the power you have to keep your emotions in balance, keeping your emotions out of it, being practical, sort of just staying put for now while you plan this, and it's more likely up in your head where you're planning to take this action. Uh, you may be waiting for someone to come in and take that action and offer you something, this passionate new beginning. So yeah, but someone may have hidden motives. They may just want action. They just may want that physical connection. And I feel, yeah, and the other person, like you want this and the other person may have hidden motives and you're sort of stuck here. I feel like it's this on and off uh, energy, this push-pull between two people. So tell me about true love. Why is this here? Yeah, so there is definitely two people who have a connection. There's two people who are trying to figure each other out. Someone might be, yeah, I feel like you, there's one person here who's not very sincere. The situation's just out of reach. It's somebody who sort of comes in. They maybe play little mind games. They toss that, you know, this is someone who reaches out to something and it's pulled back. It's sort of a little bit sneaky. Uh, there's a decision here that needs to be made. Someone's trying to figure something out. Or maybe somebody has figured something out and the situation's now out of reach. I feel like this is where it's going to go. So if you have a choice between two, I see you holding back, sort of in protective mode. But you're looking into the future. You're starting to kind of make plans as you look at the details of the possible two people. Or it's just a path you're choosing. You're at a crossroads. You're tired of waiting for the success. You're tired of uh, not moving towards commitment. And... You know, definitely there's one person here who may not be very sincere, but I see someone here who is emotionally available that comes in right. Somebody with balanced head over heart, nice energy, somebody who comes in just right. Okay, There may be someone who sees you as just right, and you have someone here who might be a little manipulative with one foot in the door and one out. So just watch out for that. You may have met this person already. That could be the competition. Okay, so yeah, it's just saying to hold back. Uh, kind of stay in protective mode. Take your time. Stay balanced. Temper your thoughts, your emotions. Somebody, I feel like you're tired of waiting for a commitment, for something that lasts, okay? And that's the issue. Yeah, it's just a lot of work. So some of you are just focusing on your work. Some of you are working around your house, your home. Some of you could even be um, fixing things, building things, or you're just working from home. Yeah, look at that, working on the pentacles, safety, security, stability. Wow. Yeah, some of you just want someone who puts the effort in uh, that makes you feel safe and secure, someone you can rely on, and that's that holding back, uh, protecting yourself, holding on to your money. Maybe you're saving for something. You're thinking of uh, buying a new home or buying a fixer-upper, <laughs> that kind of energy. Pretty interesting. There's a lot going on here, uh, but I feel it's really all about this choice, this path. So let's see what else it brings up to do with this path. What is this path? It's all about the approach. There's something that ended. Somebody wants to approach. There could be somebody approaching you, wanting to talk. They may, they could live just in your neighborhood, actually. Uh, that could be, this could be somebody that you've met somewhere at an event, approaching you. But I feel like you're not going to be too sure about this person. Yeah, there's something definitely changing. Uh, there's someone definitely, there's something evolving here. There's something to do with this communication. Maybe someone's looking back, they're changing their mind uh, about giving up and moving on. That could be yourself. Maybe you're thinking of just waiting a little longer because there's definitely something that ended painfully. It's time for a, a cycle to end, okay? Whatever this is, it's, it's that crossroads in life. And I feel like you're at that point where it's time to just make this choice. Like you're you're thinking of just moving on in another direction, but there's somebody coming around. There's somebody going to come back around, and you may not be sure of them, and that's where you're going to get stuck in protective mode. 
So yeah, there's some mystery, confusion. There's somebody here who may be keeping secrets, hiding something. Could be their intentions. They may have, you may feel they don't have very good intentions, uh, but they're keeping it secret. This could be this person here is what I feel. But this is the energy. This is what you want. If somebody comes in in balance, somebody who's fair, they do things the right way. They want things to be right. Uh, could they, And it could be the person coming towards you may have ended something. They may have gone through... Uh, a situation you could be involved in a you know a situation where you've met someone and there's a lot of people competing for them maybe you waited too long to reach out and now there's competition it could be that simple it doesn't always have to be this big dramatic energy so now we have this two of wands there we go yeah so there is this lack of reciprocity so someone's kind of holding back there's i feel there's not a lot of talking someone's not giving a lot so there's someone here who's a giver somebody who wants things to move forward they want success so there's definitely something here to do with reciprocity two people reciprocating so look at this energy right here you can see there's a lack of trust someone's not offering a whole lot they may just want romance, they may just want to get together, have a good time, uh, but there are trust issues. This is someone who might play a, a few little mind games here, and that's what you're looking at. So you're holding back, you're making, making sure you make the right choice, you're going to trust your intuition. It's telling you to just hold back and be patient, and uh, just look out for number one here. One more on this Ten of Wands, yeah, there is some burden, some kind of responsibility uh, maybe somebody feels responsible. They're having a hard time. Yeah, someone feels definitely there's a need to be set free from a responsibility, a burden. Someone can't see a way forward here. There's that indecision. And this is this person here. Someone's a little bit sneaky. So, uh, you know, there's a, this is all cerebral energy that you could be thinking. Someone's a little bit of a player. They may have a choice between two. Uh, this is someone who likes a lot of attention. Maybe somebody was manipulating you and trying to get you to give them attention. Okay. Maybe you're sitting there trying to, you figured this out. That someone is just looking for attention. They just, you know, they're actually manipulating. So you're, there's something bothering you, something burdening you about this. Okay. And it could be just, you know, there's that energy because there's secrets, mystery, confusion. There's things that are hidden that haven't been revealed. Someone hasn't revealed their intentions and they don't necessarily act very sincere at times. There could be some kind of an apology. Um, someone may have a secret. They may have been, you know, had a choice between two, couldn't make up their mind. And there's this on and off energy. So that's kind of what I feel is happening uh, for some of you. That scenario where uh, someone isn't revealing their intentions or keeping secrets. Uh, there could be deep feelings here, but they haven't been revealed, so it creates this uh, confusion. It's sort of like mind games, you know, it feels very manipulative, it feels uh, sneaky, like someone's definitely... It's like you're, you're feeling like you need to protect yourself, like you figured out someone has a choice. Um, that someone here is not really that emotionally invested, or they don't want to, and that's where you have to choose. So, wow, Virgo. You'll, I feel you'll make the right choice. And to be honest, I feel like you, you know, you're going to go off in another direction and get attention from someone else. You're going to go off on this adventure in love and uh, make this decision. It's just going to take you a little bit of time. And whatever this energy is, this is about reciprocity. It's like I feel like you're not talking maybe to either person right now or there's just a little bread crumbing back and forth, a little bit of communication. It's sort of um, like a temptation. Somebody may come in and tempt you and that temptation is what, because they're not sharing everything. They're not, they're keeping something secret, something hidden and that's what's making you uncomfortable. Uh, feeling like you need to protect yourself. Trust your intuition, okay? Definitely trust it here because I think it's going to tell you everything you need because I do feel like you have somebody here that's definitely ready. They may have ended something with somebody else, okay? Uh, they may end all their competition. They may come in and take action and come towards you just right. They may see you as just right. They may see you as the one. Uh, but then you've got this other person coming in, right, that's looking for attention. So there's something going to bother you here. So that's where it tells you to take a pause, to take the time to figure things out. So interesting enough. Let's see what the outcome is. Oh, 
A little bit confusing, isn't it? Yes. Especially when you got two people and they, neither one has revealed their intentions or you're not sure where it's going to go. Should you wait for someone to reveal their intentions or should you just move on? So there is some kind of conflict. Things are kind of up and down. You're probably going in a couple of directions right now. And I feel there is an event that's going to happen. Something is going to happen to move this forward for it to start evolving. So you may change your mind here. It's, you might go back and forth and change your mind a couple of times. Okay. And it could be you with one foot in the door and out here. Not so sure if you trust anybody for that matter. Okay. Conflict. Yeah. So there is a li little bit of fear of conflict. Maybe someone's afraid of a situation. You know, and the way I see it is if, they're, if you're afraid of somebody reaches out to you, because uh, you're, you're tired of waiting for someone, you're eager, you want success, you want a commitment, you want something solid with somebody, someone you can rely on. And if you feel that fear, trust your intuition. If you don't feel comfortable and you feel like you need to protect yourself with a person who's coming towards you, that kind of tells you what you need to know. And uh, if something's bothering you, like you want someone who's responsible, and I feel like you can't see a way forward, you know. It's... I feel like you'll set yourself free and you will you will figure out which is the right person. One person's out of reach, okay? Um, it's just hopeless. This is someone who's a little sneaky. They like to play games. And then the other person uh, is definitely much more sincere. They are cautious, um, but they, they do come in right. They're very balanced. This is someone who plays fair. So you got someone who plays fair and someone who doesn't, but it's trying to figure out because neither one has really revealed their intentions. So interesting, yeah. So there's definitely uh, this sense of loss coming out of this energy. You feel like if you stop waiting for someone and you move towards someone, you could lose with both people. If you don't wait for one and you start something with someone else and you kind of move on that because you don't know what they want. So I feel like you're at this crossroads trying to make this. It's heavy, but I feel like you'll make the right choice, Virgo. You... Yeah, you're protected. Spirit's protecting you. The angels of four directions. All right, there's that four of pentacles right there. So you can get yourself unstuck anytime you want. And it's really about taking that action, feeling very passionate about what you want and just going for it. You don't have to give everything of yourself. You can still stay in protective mode until you're sure that someone's putting in the effort, that they make you feel safe and secure, that they have your back. This is someone who has your best interest at heart. And that's what you're looking at. That's that's definitely uh, your energy there. So, wow. Beautiful reading, really. And if you're at that crossroads, just, you know, just take your time. Temper your thoughts and your emotions. Stay balanced. Keep your emotions out of it until you're sure which is the right person. You know, see it as an adventure, right? Get out of that indecisive energy and uh, drop that burden. Uh, you don't have to take responsibility, okay? Um, you don't have to take that burden on. It's your choice to set yourself free, okay? That's what Spirit's basically trying to say. Uh, you will make the right choice. You'll figure things out. Just temper your thoughts and you'll be, I feel like you'll be good to go. So where it goes, it looks like uh, you definitely are going to trust your intuition. There's some kind of fear here that somebody is going to manipulate. And when you feel that way, that's your intuition telling you this person is not going to put the effort in. They're not going to make you feel safe. And that's what you want. Security, reliability, someone stable. Okay, and you're looking right at it. So take care. I wish you the best and bye for now.